Hey guys and welcome to the EBAT show. Today I've got a lovely and special guest, Nathaniel Kwesi Sumwa. Nice to have you on the show. Nice to be here. Thank you. Um, so Nathaniel is originally from Ghana. He is involved in table tennis. He is the media, so maybe you can introduce so, that. I am the head of media for Ghana Table Tennis Association and I also run a, non, a not-for-profit table tennis foundation in Ghana called Asuba Foundation, where we have over 50 kids that we train every day of the week. Amazing. So can you explain a little bit about what does a foundation actually mean? So the name is Asuba Foundation, and Asuba means fruitfulness. Fruitfulness. Yeah, so we are picking raw talent in very poor communities. We are providing them with table tennis equipment, mentorship, and we are taking them from these poor backgrounds to become very good table tennis players in future, whilst we help them combine their education with sport for That's a amazing. brighter future. In future, they become the breadwinners of their community, and also, if there is a chance, they become table tennis players for Ghana. Wow, that's yes. amazing. So how do you go about finding these young talents? Luckily, in the community in which I am, my table tennis coach called Dora Sapon, she's the only female table tennis coach in Ghana. She happens to be in a community where we have a lot of kids. Okay. So she's spoken to the parents of these kids and we've been given permission to train them. Wow. So, yes. And there are many more kids who live far away from us who okay. want to come. but. Just because of the means of transport to get there, they are unable to come. But we have as many as 50 kids with many more coming. Some of them are even in the university. Okay. Just in 2019, one of our boys went to University of Kwame Kuma University of Science and Technology. He's reading computer science. And it's an honor to have such a talented kid playing table tennis and also pursuing higher academics. That's absolutely amazing. Sure. So do you have a, a table tennis hall with this lady who's coaching or where do they train? Unfortunately, we do not have a hall, so we, have to, we play in the open environment. Wow, outside? Outside. And wow. We have the wind blowing. blowing the ball. We have um, birds flying, animals, and a lot <laughs> of distractions, cars passing by. It's in the open. And, but the kids enjoy playing there. That's all of we have course. now. But we have plans of building a facility for them. That would be we, amazing. We don't have the funds now, but it's in what the What are we looking in terms of how, the funds? How much are we looking for if we wanted to build a center? So if I'm to talk about it in pounds, we are looking about maybe 10,000 pounds to build a, a good center. So it's but not a lot. It's not, it's not a lot. It's about 10,000 pounds okay. to build a center. If you, if you watch the kids play with enthusiasm, you would know that wherever money is, you'd go and find that money. So that's one of the reasons why I am here in England to explore partnerships with table tennis clubs. And thank you for putting me <laughs> on your show. And I hope through this program, I'll be able to reach out to a lot more people. Yes. Uh, well, I hope I can help also. Sure, sure, sure. And, uh, and uh, maybe one of the viewers, viewers might be interested in helping because really it's not a lot of money and you'll be able to see the players, they play outside and some of them are amazing, little talented, they're moving around, they're playing their forehands and you can see they're getting multiple, which is lovely. Uh, it really touches my heart and actually touches my heart even more because my original coach, okay. my proper coach, was from Ghana. Wow. So, uh, he was very special to me. He taught me a lot of, uh, a lot of the things that I teach you guys now. Wow. And uh, he was very much a disciplinarian, and I learned a lot from him. So maybe we can also contact him and see if he can help us out as well. So okay. I think there's a great um, avenue there. Good. So in the 1960s and 70s, Ghana produced a lot of top players. Three-time African female champion, Ethel Jacks. Wow. She's still alive. She's a a strong woman. She's played <laughs> in a lot of world championships. Wow. We've also had a two-time African champion, E.A. Kwe. We've had a lot okay. of very good players. We used to participate in the Olympic Games, but now the level has dropped a bit. But with this kit, we hope to produce the next generation of stars. One of our players, Emmanuel Ayachere, she's 11 years. Okay. She's a member of the senior national team of Ghana. Wow. So last year, when we were going for the All-African Games in Rabat, Morocco, she was part of the team that played a justify your inclusion and even though she didn't qualify she did very well we've got a lot of potential players in my team as many as three of our players played for the 
Ghana in last year's World Junior and Cadet Championships in Ghana. Okay. And so our aim is to also get opportunities for them outside Ghana to go for training tours. So also go to training camps, camps and yes. be involved with other uh, clubs and associations to upscale their game exactly. and elevate their game. Okay. And we, we are lucky that Swedish Table Tennis Association has partnered us. Last year they featured us in their national table tennis magazine called the Pingis. Okay. And they've also told us that this year they would take a few of our kids and our, one of our coaches to Sweden for a summer camp. So wow. we are building on it and we hope that your table tennis club will also give us an opportunity to bring a few of the kids here for training so that they can experience good facilities and build their confidence. Because these kids travel every now and then for tournaments in Ghana and yes. when they are play, playing and they win points, you hear them shout, Chole! And, <laughs> and the enthusiasm is there. Yes. We do not have enough um, equipment. Yes. We build our own tables, but then we look forward to having quality tables where they can play on and, I mean, build up on the scale. So where they can really experience quality and see that there's uh, a different... Now, table tennis has really evolved and become uh, very... Um, well, advanced in many respects. The ball, the, the, the equipment, all the science that goes behind some of the stuff is amazing. So I guess you guys uh, don't have that opportunity as much. No, we, we, we do not. We do not. Yes. So, so that's one of the reasons why we watch your training videos to pick from there and teach them what to do. That's really kind. Well, I would love to obviously help and I'm sure uh, our viewers will also potentially help as well. So I think um, just a couple of more things, if you can explain to me about um, those, the foundation okay. and the kids. Okay. What is the ultimate vision for them to just play for Ghana or for them to also become professional players? Or what, what exactly is the vision of this foundation? So we are trying to help these kids who come from very poor communities to be able to have a, a good future. Okay. If they are able to pick up their table tennis to the highest level, that will be a plus for us. Okay. We are also encouraging them to pursue academics. Every kid in my foundation attends school. If you, are not, if you don't attend school, you cannot be part of my oh, foundation. And we are also helping them become good, disciplined students. So in partnership with the International Table Tennis Federation, ITTL Foundation, very soon we'll be having a project where we'll be helping the kids do extra tuition after school and also provide them with a few basic needs like giving them free health insurance wow yes giving them lunch giving them free school uniforms helping them improve on their mathematical subjects english and also science on top of that we give them table tennis training we're going to amazing. do that for three solid years okay and we hope to spread it out throughout Ghana in wow. the near future. So it's very much a holistic. Exactly. Fantastic. Exactly. I love that. Okay, so how can people help? How can people find you? How can people reach out to you? Okay, so on all our social, on all social media platforms, we are Asoba Foundation. A-S-O-B-A-F-O-U-N-D-A-T-I-O-N at Asoba Foundation on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram and on YouTube, you would find us. You see a lot of videos of our kids playing, and we ask that you come and support us. If you want to give us donate money to us, you can do that. If you have used equipment or new equipment, you can do that. We also not only that we also need the technical aspect of it. If you can help us with teaching our kids online, we've made internet available to them. You can give, devote your time and do some online exhibition for the kids and also motivate them. We need mentors for them. It's not only about we taking money for the foundation. We need all the aspects, motivation. When, if you have a top player, an upcoming player, you can also teach them and mentor them. This, this, these are the things that we want for the kids. We want to develop them holistically so that one day they'll become good community leaders for Ghana. And not only that, when they also travel, they become good ambassadors. And now, table tennis is a sport that brings peace. We want them to become peace ambassadors all over the world. That's absolutely amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you, Eddie. And uh, 
support. We will do everything we can in, our, in my power and the EBAT family, we'll, we will definitely do our best to help you. you. And I hope that people are watching will also uh, help you out as well. Thank you so much you. and uh, we'll see you guys on the next show. Thank you.